Yes, Vishnu, how can I help you? Uh, hi Sanjeev, uh, I am Vishnu. I am thirteen years of I have thirteen years of experience in production application support. Yeah, I've been part of uh, your DevOps batch you know, from batch one itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, due to due to lot of work, I had to drop in between. Okay. Uh, I had lot of work with. I, I was working with uh, one of the top banking clients, so very minimal time to work on. The uh, banking or banks are usually relatively relaxed, right? You know, but I was working for a client bank, so they are directly monitoring oh, us. So okay. there are a lot of pressure on work pressure okay. is very high. Okay. So my question is, so I got really very into it, but I'm trying to get upscale now. So I have a little bit of time, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't see much projects coming and much opportunities coming for uh, my current role, which I'm my basic skills is or uh, Unix. SQL and uh, whatever applications clients are supporting, I uh, get a KT and these are very basic mm -hmm. uh, skills. Uh, yeah, some sort of. Uh, so I have upskilled myself uh, to generative AI course and uh, mm -hmm. uh, data analyst course as well in mm -hmm. between whatever the time in one month. Mm -hmm. So I just want your feedback uh, how to go ahead with the uh, future, like how cloud and DevOps. That's what you wanted to uh, do at some stage. Uh, that is, yeah, yeah. I want to know. Uh, most of these banks and large enterprises, everybody is going to, uh, I'm looking at your resume, Autosys. I'm currently uh, doing an automation so that how to deploy Autosys products uh, in cloud um, companies, like it's, it's a massive product. So a uh, lot of things on your uh, uh, resume are more of dev fo focused, more of infra focused, a bit of uh, application support. So it's your direct, your natural upgrade is some sort of cloud, some sort of DevOps related stuff, which will be directly related to your job, which will be directly related to your potential employers, banks, financial institutions. Everybody's getting into cloud. AI is yeah. not directly related to your day-to-day -day job. So it will be very hard for you to get into an AI related uh, role right away. Uh, but the problem is the AI have been already involved uh, in most of the banks. So even yes. for any kind of small automation or anything, they're insisting to do it on AI. Even do it small job, I had to learn AI. AI on it. Yeah, AI as in what? Like usage of AI, you should be using AI to accelerate your work. Yeah, usage. Correct, yeah. yeah. So, and they are monitoring and tracking it very actively. So, AI yeah, is also part of our job. So, yes. that it also has to Which be is good, right? Yeah. Even I'm, I'm not an yeah. AI expert or AI uh, a professional, but I'm using AI in my de uh, DevOps and cloud related jobs day to day. Yeah. So, uh, that's a different thing. That's just basic learning of. Uh, then, otherwise, uh, yeah. It's, it's not that you have to learn so much of AI that you can qualify for AI roles right away. That yeah, yeah, transition right. will that yeah. transition will happen after you have substantial knowledge of cloud. Um, okay. So these are these are the steps that you have to be expert on cloud. Everything in cloud happens through DevOps processes. So you need yeah. to know a bit of DevOps because you are uh, already uh, what thirteen plus years of experience. Uh, yeah. You you don't need to know or work extensively on uh, DevOps related things, but you need to know all of them, uh, more on cloud infrastructure and all. And then uh, once you are comfortable, then you can look at AI related stuff. Okay. Uh, so how about the current uh, ongoing courses which are happening in DevOps, like in, in your program? I mean, we, we are always running, on... yeah, you are all, we are always running these 12 projects, we had 10 projects earlier. We have now added a couple of AI projects as well because companies want to know, uh, are you upskilling yourself? Are you learning at least some concepts of AI? So 12 projects, you can join anytime you want. Actually, we are starting a fresh batch this weekend. You you are in my group, so you should know about it. Yeah, I'm not getting the Zoom link, so I thought uh, maybe I'm not included in it. So I'll then, check with you on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so for Zoom link, you have to have register to... to the program. Okay, uh, so I'm not paid, like, uh, uh, so I had to again register for the program? Yes. 
it depends which one mm -hmm. which uh, so yeah you will have to it you attended some past program you did not you did not work on it or whatever but yeah if it's a new program you have to join again okay so what are the suggestions you may like to, for, for my resume to be like uh, in if it is, has to be highlighted i looked at your any resume you uh, i i just uh, uh, it it looks very basic doesn't talk about uh, um, any major outcome in 13 years it's when skill set is also very basic it doesn't talk about any cloud or any any major outcome uh, driven uh, sort of thing that um, that yes i have transformed something i have migrated something major uh, okay. it, it's coming out as a, a sort of 7 8 years um, experience kind of profile uh, that yes i can manage incidents i can do few things but in terms of skill set and in terms of uh, uh, the kind of language that you are using does not give me the confidence of a 13 years uh, uh, experience profile usually at 13 years you would have some sort of major outcomes identified that yes i have migrated something i have completed a program or i have uh, uh, manage these many servers or these many applications at scale that scale should mm -hmm. be visible okay very soon like at, at 15 years 17 years you would be actually no more be eligible for this individual contributor kind of like you would be an architect so yeah. you know, at, at that level you have to show uh, multiple use cases multiple scenarios that you can not only in your resume but in your communication also okay so i would suggest that if you get some time uh, to learn few few more things uh, before mm -hmm. it's it's late uh, so i would suggest you spend a little bit more time on cloud and devops uh, aspects before you jump into ai that quickly yeah, using Copilot okay. is fine. Using usage of AI, still use Chat GPT, still use Copilot. Uh, that's not learning AI. That's that's just using AI. Yeah. Okay. Right? Got it. So, um, but yeah, before you start building AI products or deploying models, and I would suggest focus a little bit more on uh, this thing. There are no certification mentioned on your uh, uh, resume. Uh, yeah. Okay. Then you should you should be getting uh, certified as well. Uh, cloud certified and DevOps certified. Cloud, Terraform, Kubernetes. These are the few things okay. that that you should be looking at. I know, especially in your the bank that you work for, um, they have their proprietary tools, their internal tools yeah. that they that they work on. I know of a close friend who who left that job to work at Apple because. Uh, uh, not just salary difference and all that, but even the bank was paying much higher, but they were using the internal proprietary tools that they do, even for their CI, CD stuff yeah. and their DevOps and their cloud management. They they built their internal tools, which will have internal value, but when you apply outside, you will not get, get that kind of uh, uh, premium in the market. So Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah most of Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I'll uh, try. I'll uh, try to do the, the certification part, and I'll uh, also try to like uh, mention whatever you have uh, keywords like migration and other things. Yeah, something substantial, done. something. Uh, not a day to day kind of thing. Like incident management is day to day to day activity, right? There are there are yeah. transactional things you do day to day. You some small transactions. You attend stand up. You uh, do yeah. some basic incident management, troubleshooting. But then there are trans transformational things like uh, doing some big migration. Um, yeah. You can identify in your work area what you, you it could be setting up some landing zone or setting up some some complex infrastructure or, or even uh, uh, something which is which goes for months weeks a lot of planning goes into that uh, a lot of uh, 
thought leadership goes into that, that kind of thing is what should reflect in a 13 years experience profile. Uh, basic things are sort of understood that yes, you, you know, and you can do that. Sure, sure. Got it. All right, Vishnu. Uh, Good luck. Uh, sure. Uh, any other suggestions you want me to like regarding uh, certification? No, uh, uh, like you can. Any other skills? You have to, I, I think I think certs and uh, good projects will will take you um, to the right place. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Sanjay. Yeah. Thanks.